Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In Excel, we need to select cells to perform certain operations or to use functions. In those cases, we either select whole rows, columns, individual cells, or a group of cells. What would you do if the cells are far from each other and you need to select them? In this video, I will show you five ways to select non-adjacent cells in Excel. Let's start with using the control key to select the cells. Holding the control key and selecting the cells is one of the best ways to select non-adjacent cells in Excel and this approach is pretty straightforward. By pressing and holding the control key, select the cells you want to select. You can either click on each cell or use the mouse to drag to select a range of cells. Once you have selected all necessary cells, leave the control key. In some cases, you might have to use only the keyboard and perform certain operations. When confronted with that situation, you can use the function keys to select the non-adjacent cells. To select the non-adjacent cells using function keys, click on any cell to act as an active cell. Now press the function key F8. This enables the extended selection mode. You can see the extended selection mode enabled from the bottom left of the spreadsheet near the accessibility status. To select the non-adjacent cells, press Shift plus F8. This in turn enables the add or remove selection mode. Now use the arrow keys to move the selection and select the cells you want. Once you have moved to another non-adjacent cell, press F8 again to enable the extended selection mode and select a cell or group of cells. After you have selected the non-adjacent cells, press F8 to get back to normal mode. Another easy way to select non-adjacent cells in Excel is by using their cell names to make the selection. To select the cells, first click on any cell. This marks the cell as the active cell. Now click on the name box in the top left-hand corner of the spreadsheet. Type the name of the cells separated by a comma in the name box. You can enter the name of the single cells or the range of cells separated by a comma. Press Enter. This selects all the non-adjacent cells in the spreadsheet. Another way to select non-adjacent cells is by using the Go To option. This way of selecting non-adjacent cells is similar to selecting cells using the name box option. To select non-adjacent cells using the Go To option, navigate to Home. Under Editing, click on the drop-down from Find and Select and click on Go To. Or use the keyboard shortcut Control plus H. This opens up a Go To dialog box. Enter the name of the cells or a range of cells separated by a comma and click on OK. This selects the non-adjacent cells in the Excel spreadsheet. There is another special case to select non-adjacent cells in Excel. However, this method can be used if the content of the cells is similar. To find cells with similar values, navigate to Home. Under Editing, click on the drop-down from Find and Select and click on Find. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control plus F. This opens up a Find and Replace dialog box. Click Find and enter the value you want to locate. Click on Find All. This shows the location and description of the cells with the specific value. Click on Control plus A to select all the cells with similar values. Now, either click on Close or the X button to close the Find and Replace dialog box and keep all the selected cells. In this video, we saw how to select non-adjacent cells in Excel using five methods. You can choose any method which suits your purpose. Hope you liked it. If you have any queries, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.